All right. So, well, like Craig said, I am Stephen Vergens, and I'm here with my associate, Nick Muzak. Hi. And uh, we're contractors with uh, Equate Corporation on loan to the ADL. And we wanted to give you at least a brief rundown uh, due to Craig's recommendation of our XAPI dashboard project. Um, the gist of it is this is a client-side library uh, that you can use to extract meaningful information out of bodies of XAPI statements, uh, aggregate them into to produce useful numbers, and then generate visualizations based on that data. Uh, it's a purely client-side library, too. So anything with anything in JavaScript, it'll run right away, um, which is an advantage in some circumstances versus like the heavier, um, you know, elastic, uh, elastic search type visualizations. Uh, we wanted to just give you a quick rundown on how this works. Um, we're going to put you through the README, but notice that this whole, um, everything is on GitHub. So there's the URL there, and you can find it and experiment with it yourself. Yep. So, um, so we've designed the XAPI dashboard to be very simple to use. Um, it doesn't really take much doing to actually create your first chart. Um, really, all you have to do is, um, you know, include a couple of dependencies. Um, in this case, we're including a CSS file and a couple of JavaScript files. Um, you pull down your statements, um, you know, via JavaScript or, you know, using any library you feel comfortable with. And then um, what you do is the dashboard actually exposes a couple of um, APIs that allows you to create different kinds of charts. Um, it supports, you know, bar charts, pie charts, line charts, multi-bar charts, etc. Um, and when you call create bar chart, in this case, um, you provided a, an options object. Um, this object contains you know, information like the container to which you want to draw the um, chart. It, that container is usually an SVG. Um, you specify on which XAPI field you want to do your grouping. Um, in this case, we're doing our grouping on verb.id. Um, you can think of this as just lumping um, statements that have the same verb.id into the same group right. so that we can do aggregations. Yeah, we tried to make the API as SQL-like as possible, so we, hopefully it's a quick learning curve. Um, you, so in this case, um, you can also specify an aggregation function. Um, in this case, we're just, you know, doing a simple ADL.count. Um, what this does is it iterates over each group and it counts the number of statements in that group. So that's pretty intuitive. More or less maps to the group by field on the x-axis, and then the aggregate field on the y-axis. And you can see all that reflected in the chart down below. Yep. Um, post, in this case, so, so what we're doing is um, in post, we are simply saying, all right, data, um, after, you've, after we've aggregated the, the, the data, we order it by the number of results, the number of statements in each group. Um, we just you know, order it in descending order, and then we only display the first 10 bar charts, or um, bars. Because what we discovered is that if you just leave it in its default order, then it's a mess. Uh, you want to just scroll up to that other chart? Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> so we have this extra capability in here to massage the data once the aggregation is actually been done, so you can only view the, only visualize the most significant data. Yep. And, um, and of course, we, um, it also supports a customized option which exposes NVD3's um, chart object, which allows us to, you know, do customizations like rotating the, um, the x-axis labels or stripping away extraneous information from those labels. Right. So you notice that the x-axis labels here are just single words rather than full-on IRIs that the spec demands. Uh, so we also have a couple resources here on the GitHub page. Feel free to explore those. Uh, we'd like to show you one real quickly here. Uh, this is the same one that we showed off at the boot camp uh, unveiling last year. We're just going to run through this really quickly. So this is what you can do with the chart. It's all client side. Um, it's locally cached data, so that's not realistic. But all of the interaction is fine. So you can see we have a lot of several different chart types. We have a multi-bar chart, regular bar, pi, uh, and each of these are linked so that you can drill down into the data. So if we only want to see the results of test two, for example, here, you click it, and then only the results from test two are displayed in the below graphs. And that all applies all the way down. So with some clever coding, you can do some pretty significant things with this fairly quickly. 
Um, that's that's the XAPI dashboard. Um, there is a the there is a separate component called the XAPI collection that does all of the actual processing in the back end, and there's also an API for that. But we just don't have time to glean over that right now. But it, everything is well documented, so you'll be able to find whatever you need.